Hi everyone, it's Kim from Lake Villa District Library, and today I'm at Jandy's Salon for Read Around Town. Today we're going to meet Allison, a hairstylist here, and she's going to show us how to wash and take care of her beautiful hair and read us one of her favorite stories. So stay tuned while we meet Allison. Hi guys, I'm Allison here at Jandy's Salon, and I'm going to show you how to wash your hair properly and comb it out. All right, so we have our friend Rachel here and she is going to be my model and I'm gonna show you how to wash hair. So the first thing we'll do in the salon is put a towel around their neck just so we don't get them wet and it's a little more comfortable. All right, and then we'll have you lean all the way back here for me. Perfect. So we'll get our water started. Let it warm up a little bit. Best way to check your temperature is on your wrist. If it's too cold, warm it up a little bit too hot, pull it down. All right, so first we're gonna wet her hair down and I'll ask her how's the water temperature. Uh, it's a little bit cold. A little bit cold, <laughs> okay, we'll warm it up for you. How's that? Good, good, okay. We'll make sure that we get the hair thoroughly wet there. That way we get some nice suds when we go to wash. All right, so next we'll use a shampoo. So this is Redken's Cleansing Cream. So this helps remove dirt and oil and build up off the scalp. You'll get in and you just really want to scrub the scalp good and cleanse it. This is what gets rid of all those oils. Um, you don't necessarily want to go into the ends of the hair with the shampoo because that can dry it out. You'll want to do this for about a good minute. Give it a good scrub. Get lots of little bubbles in there. Lift up their head a little bit. Give them a little support. Scrub like the back, their neck, the nape. Just go in little circular motions and use your fingertips. Perfect. Ready to rinse. Then we'll check our water temperature. And just let me know if it's too warm or too cold and we can adjust it. And when you're rinsing, you just want to make sure you get out all the little bubbles. You don't want to leave any suds left in there because then you'll have a buildup. And it'll be hard to comb through your hair after. You want to rinse for about a good minute too, I'd say. And our model here has beautiful long hair, so <laughs> might need a little extra rinsing. <laughs> Lift the neck up and kind of scoop the water away from them too. And I squeeze out some of this extra water so that way, because our next step will be conditioner. So this way the conditioner will be absorbed into her hair. And depending on how long your hair is, that'll be how much you want to use. With her, she's got long hair, so Say that's a good two quarter sizes <laughs> and you want to work it through the ends conditioner goes on the ends this way it helps detangle put the moisture back in and then you because if you put it right at the top here you'll get um, a little oily you don't want to just glob it on you can go through at the end with whatever's left on your hands just to give the hair a little extra slip A little scalp massage in there too. It's the best part of coming to the salon and getting your hair done is getting it washed. All right. And then we'll rinse the conditioner out. And you'll know all the conditioner is out when your water runs clear and you don't feel 
almost like a slimy kind of a feeling on the hair. Because again, if you leave too much conditioner in your hair too, that can cause some issues where it's hard to comb it or you feel greasy right away. Good. Looks like we got everything out there. And then we squeeze out all the hair there. That way it's not dripping. Take our towel, place it around their hairline here. So when we lift her head up, she doesn't get water running down her face. And then we'll squeeze the rest of the water out. Perfect. And then we can move on and comb out. <laughs> All right, so we're here and I'm going to show you guys how to comb out her hair properly um, without hurting too. So the first thing we're going to do is spray with a little leave-in conditioner. This is a 25 benefit spray from Purology. So leave-in conditioner, a couple sprays of that. Then we got our handy uh, wet brush here. These are great. This is wonderful detangling brush. Um, that doesn't snag the hair or cause breakage. So with her hair, you always want to start at the bottom when they've got real long hair. You can start at the bottom, <laughs> work your way up. Um, sometimes if you put your hand on their scalp, it helps just with the tension too, so you're not ripping their hair out or hurting them. And you can kind of just slowly work your way up. And around the head. Is this hurting at all? No. No? Okay. And sometimes if there's a little extra knot, just lightly work at them. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're good. That's what we want. Always going from the bottom up, especially if you run into a big tangle. And I like to just comb it all in one direction towards the back of the head. That way it'll make it easier when you go to find where they part their hair. All right, I think we got just about all of those tangles out. Run my fingers through. And voila. Oh, there might be one more there. There we go. Uh, tangle free ouchless. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm going to read you one of my favorite stories here next. It's called Hair of Love by Matthew A. Cherry and illustrated by Vashti Harrison. My name is Zuri, and I have hair that has a mind of its own. It kinks, coils, and curls every which way. Daddy tells me it's beautiful. That makes me proud. I love that my hair lets me be me. The funky braids with, with beads, I'm a princess. And when my hair is in two puffs, I'm above the clouds like a superhero. My hair even does magic tricks. One day, Rocky and I were playing outside when along came the rain. From large to small it went. Presto, just like that. There's nothing my hair can't do. Today, I woke up extra early, all by myself. I was too excited to sleep. It's a big day. Daddy was still sleeping. Shh. I said to Rocky as we tiptoed past him, lately daddy has been worn out. He makes me breakfast, takes me to school, goes to work, picks me up, and yesterday we went for a bike ride around the park. I think he needs a break. Because today I want a perfect hairstyle, this calls for a professional's touch. Pause off, Rocky, crack. Daddy heard the crash. Zuri, what on earth, he asked. 
I was only trying to help, I said. Daddy smiled. Can I help too? It'll be a piece of cake, Zuzu. The first style was a big no way. The second was no better. No, Daddy. Then Daddy tried slicking my hair back into two puffs. Ouch, Daddy yelled. Wait a minute, Daddy said as he reached into the drawer and pulled out a pick. Ta-da! Daddy, really, I said. I'll be right back, he promised. Now, how's that, he asked, pulling a hat down over my eyes. Daddy, come on, we can do better than that. I really need my hair to be special. Don't worry, he said, we'll figure this out. Then I had a great idea. Daddy gathered all the tools we needed and we were set. Watching carefully, Daddy combed, parted, oiled, and twisted. He nailed it. Click, funky puff buns, pretty, pretty, so much fun. Rocky approved too. I put on my superhero cape as the final touch to a perfect look. Where's my Zuzu? Mommy called from the door. She couldn't get into the house fast enough. Mommy, you've got, the pr got to be the prettiest Supergirl I've ever seen, she said. And your hair is beautiful, Zuri. Who did it? I looked at Daddy and beamed. Mommy smiled, very nice. Thank you, we learned from the best, Daddy said, as he gave her a big hug. My hair is Mommy, Daddy, and me. It's hair love. Flash. The end.